All right, raise your hand by liking this video if you've ever been personally victimized by red lipstick. I would raise more than two hands if I could. I would raise all my limbs. My relationship with red lipstick is just a weird one. And when I think of red lipstick, it's such a classic makeup look, such a bold glamour makeup look that we've all probably tried at some point in our lives. Maybe it's a go-to for you, or maybe if you're like me, it's something that you really struggle with. And sometimes it just looks too bold on you and you can't find the right way to balance it. The tones are off. If you have any issue with red lipstick, I'm gonna go over why you may be experiencing these issues in better options so you can still rock a bold red tone lip without feeling like it's kind of taking over you. I'm really excited about this one because it's honestly a video I wish I was able to watch myself so I saved a lot of money on lipsticks but I will do that for you. Make sure you subscribed if you haven't already and let's go ahead and get started. So I'll be breaking down sort of three main features in lipsticks, specifically red lipsticks, that may explain why you just feel like you haven't looked the best in them. So the three sort of components of lipsticks that we're gonna talk about is the pigmentation level slash intensity of the lipstick, the undertone of the lipstick, and also the finish slash shine of the lipstick. I'm gonna start with three examples of probably the worst red lip colors I could wear. Actually, I'll put one of these on to show you that these would be the worst picks for me and I'll explain why. So here are some of the worst tones that I could wear. First is a MAC lipstick here, which may not look that bad on my hand, but trust me, it pulls really orange on me. This is the shade Sweet Sakura. This is a cream sheen lipstick from MAC. And then this middle one, which is definitely more of a coral red, is from Shantikai. It's one of their lip veils in Frangipan. And then the one closest to me here, which is a full pigment, whoops, a full pigment lipstick from Laura Mercier. It's one of their lip crayons in the shade Fire, which is really intense and very warm. I don't know why I chose to wear white for this video. I do that for all my lip swatch videos and I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I mean, it was fine last time, so. Fingers crossed. Let me take off this lip and I'll show you what one of these is looking like on my skin. Okay, I'm actually gonna show you the middle one. Actually, let's do the MAC one because I wanna show you how bad this looks. This is the shade Sweet Sakura, by the way. Oh no. Really beautiful formula, but once it's on my face, just look how orange, like it looks, in my opinion, really off on my skin. I never really wear shades like this. I think a positive aspect of this one is it's not super dark or very, very pigmented. It's a little bit more of like a satiny medium pigmentation, but this is just one of those shades that I would not feel confident in and I would just be thinking about how weird it looks all day. Now that I have that wiped off, the reason that these are the worst for me is because the undertone isn't right and it doesn't really match up with my intensity either. So these are all warm tone lipsticks. They're also quite pigmented, bright, and vibrant colors. Now, when you look at me, I don't think the words bright, pigmented, or vibrant really come to mind. I have very light features overall, and I don't really have any like very outstanding features either. I kinda am just soft in general, which is what I wanna mimic in my lipstick color. Before we go any further, I want you to put yourself in one of the three categories. This is really easy to do. You may already know this information. If you have a picture of yourself in natural light with no makeup, you can put it into black and white, or you could take a new picture, just make sure that you're not wearing any makeup and it's in natural sort of indirect lighting. You can then put that photo into black and white, just a standard black and white filter, and then look at how much contrast is in your features. I'll put a picture up of mine here. And if you're looking at this, I don't have very high contrast. I'm definitely on the light, lightish medium contrast scale. So I would put yourself in either light, medium, or high contrast. So light contrast would be like me, where you have light skin, light hair, or dark skin, dark hair, dark eyes, medium skin, medium hair, medium eyes, you know, and so on. Medium contrast would be maybe you have like a mid-tone skin and darker hair, not super dark though. Lighter skin with like a mid-tone hair, dark skin with slightly darker hair or slightly lighter hair. And then the high contrast would be like if you're as pale as me, but you have very dark brunette or black hair, or if you have very dark skin, but you have very light blonde hair, very high contrast in colors in your appearance. And then the second one would be knowing your undertone, whether you're cool, neutral, or warm toned. If you watch my videos, I post a lot of cool tone makeup, so you may be cool toned like me, so I have lots of picks for that, but we'll be discussing all of it. I also want you to sort of think about your features and how your face 
overall just comes across like I mentioned before I don't really have like a defining feature or like very striking sharpness in my face really at all like I do have bigger eyes but there's not anything that stands out a ton but if you do have maybe really like bold eyes or like a very sharp cheekbone or sharp jaw maybe you have really nice lips also take that into consideration because if you do have more striking features or bigger features, things that just stand out on you a little bit more, take into consideration that you can probably carry more bold colors that are maybe not necessarily your perfect tones a little bit better because it almost seems more natural on you because you already have that like attention on your face. So let's talk about if you have very high contrasting features. I'm thinking like Anne Hathaway or maybe you have even darker hair like Morticia Adams like that kind of vibe this lipstick would be so gorgeous on you as long as you have a cool undertone as well this is from Bobbi Brown and it's the shade after hours this would also work on like medium contrasting but it is quite bold so as you can tell this has a very cool undercurrent in it very cool undertone it also has a really rich like vampiric color which is just going to be gorgeous if you are what I just described on me. This isn't horrible because it's cool tone, but it's just, I feel like still way too bold. This next one is another great one if you're high to medium contrast, also have cool tone skin. This is from Revlon Colorstay. It's the Matte Light Crayon. Not sure the shade, I will have it linked below. Quite similar to this one, you can tell this one has even more blue in it. It's a little bit lighter though, so if you have that like more medium contrast, that might be a good pick for you. Another great classic red is from Honest Beauty. This is their shade Love, which is a gorgeous classic, like cool neutral tone. If you're more neutral, this might be a better pick because these have a lot of that like blue purple in it. This one's just a little bit more balanced. Another really beautiful one on you would be this Smashbox lipstick. This is the Always On Liquid Lipstick. Also don't know the shade, but it will be linked. This one's a little bit brighter, so definitely like medium high more leaning on that high contrast or if you have more striking features you might be able to carry just this very blood red very well next let's talk about if you have more of like a very cool undertone and maybe more medium contrast what shades would work for you now this isn't like a true red we're leaning into some more berries which if you have cool skin and you still want to do a bold reddish lip really lean into the berry tones because they are going to look so gorgeous on you this one is from bare minerals the last Lasting matte lipstick in vivacious this is a gorgeous like jammy color and you can tell compared to these you're just getting so much more softness this is something i would wear as like a very bold lip still a little bit strong for me but if you have that like medium contrast very cool undertone that's going to be a gorgeous one now let's talk about if you look similar to me or you just have low contrast in general these are going to be the colors that may work for you in terms of a substitution for red lipstick. I do have a lot of red tones here, but I also have some more purple shades to share just because it's sort of like my idea of a red lip is something that's a little bit more purple and soft because it still reads very bold on my skin. So starting off with this 100% pure lip color in Wine Cup, which is this color here compared to all of these, you can really see the softness and the coolness pulling through this one i really like how it looks on my skin it definitely is bold because i'm so fair but it looks a lot more natural and it just gives you that more effortless vibe right i feel like that's kind of what we want with a red lip is like it's bold but also effortless now if i still want something quite bold and almost like a pure red this one is from well people and this is the shade om yeah i really love this color because it's kind of like a cool toned reddish purple, but softened a little bit. It's not a full pigment color. So it just gives me that more soft blended look. Okay, I will be putting on a lip combo by the end of this. So let's talk about lip liners before I move into my last recommendations. So I wanna talk about two different lip liners here. So first is this Bare Minerals lip liner. This is the shade Treasured Red, which is a really gorgeous cool tone red. I think with any of these cool tones, this would really work. If you are warm tone, by the way, you can use a nice warm tone red. And these would work for probably like medium, Ish, high contrast but if you find a shade like this that's maybe even darker and bolder like you would rock a pure orange lip if you're high contrast and warm skin this one's great if you have that higher contrast cool undertone 
And then if you look similar to me, this is one of my favorites from Smashbox. This is called Be Legendary, which is this berry tone. I feel like it's dark enough to sort of carry these colors. And these are both really beautiful formulas. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the Smashbox lip liner. Now moving in, if you are low contrast, cool, cool olive like I am, and you have maybe soft features as well, and just feel like if makeup pulls very bold on you very easily, these are gonna be my picks that are, they kind of give the red lip vibe but they're not like full-on red lips so let me explain first let's start off with this flower beauty lip stain this is really gorgeous it's the shade play this is definitely more of a purpley stain but this would be nice to layer on some of these other products that i will mention or on its own next a really soft way to wear red this is a lip crayon from mineral fusion so the key here is to sort of look for products that are more sheer glossy less full-on pigmentation this is the shade smolder which is a sheer lip tint so even though this is quite like a saturated shade because it's so sheer it's gonna look a lot softer than these bold shades. I also love doing a red just by doing a red gloss. I have two here. This is the Kosas lip gloss in the shade Jaws. I'm not sure if they still have this one, but this one I'd recommend if you are low contrast but warm tone because it is quite a warm red. If you are cool toned though, this is one from Euphoria. This is the shade Make Some Noise. This is such a pretty cool toned red. It also has a lot of shine and shimmer in it. Like I mentioned in the very beginning, if you are at lower contrast, looking for those more sheer, shiny products that aren't packed full of pigment are probably gonna work better for you. And then if you really just want like a touch of red, maybe just in your everyday makeup, this lip combo is actually something I've been wearing a lot. First is the Lawless. This is the Cherry Vanilla Collection. So this is the lip balm. I do have a shorts video where I swatch these. But as you can tell, it's really sheer. It almost comes off as like a pink. And then this is the lip, what is this called? Forget the filler lip plumping gloss. I'll layer it over the balm. So this gives you a little bit more intensity. So I think I'm actually gonna start with the Mineral Fusion Lip Crayon, just a light layer of this. And then I'm gonna top it with the Euphoria Lip Gloss. So I hope you can see the difference between this lip look and the one that I wore in the beginning. I'll do a side by side. Although this may just seem like I'm wearing a red lip, it really isn't a traditional red lipstick. It's just pulling that way because it's just giving me the same effect because it matches sort of my qualities. It's a cool undertone, more sheer and glossy, not full pink pigmentation and I don't feel like it's competing for the rest of my face. Always heard those techniques about like if you're wearing a bold red lip make sure your eyes aren't too much but I found that if I wear a red lip and not a lot of eye makeup it pulls too strong but if I add more eye makeup it still does the same thing so I've never felt like that was helpful enough for me and if you relate to that I hope this video really helped you because I feel like I can wear heavier eye makeup or no eye makeup and it's still not like screaming red it just looks pretty and like oh red that was such like a weird way to explain it but i really hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable and maybe found some new shades to try out i'd love to know if you've had any struggles in the past with red lipsticks thank you for watching i will put another video here so we can keep hanging out but thank you so much for tuning in bye